I think we are basically ready to go. <coughs> so yeah, uh, I just had like a YouTube music playing here. Let me uh, shut that off. There we go. Okay. Let's boot this up. Hell yeah. And I am now going to swap it over. I wanted to leave my... Uh, for this one, I wanted just music playing, but I didn't want to boot the game up just yet. <coughs> Huh. Different sound. Well, I want to give it a sec. I want to hear it. Definitely a different sound. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but definitely a different sound. So I might turn this up on my end. Kind of interesting that it's just Mario on the front. And also, normally, basically the setup the game would play by now, I wonder. Anyway. Maybe that will start up after making a save file. Let's see. Here we go. <coughs> Today, I am going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling city appeared. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, a tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shocked. It was a very, very world. It was as if the very world was uh, coming to a violent end. And in a single but, and but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnis magnificent treasure chest rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, at the Sea of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand-year door starts here. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all the way here on a holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Peach, this is the worst place to go on holiday to. Once in a while, I like to, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is very um has a very um distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, wow, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it, and it only hope and w that will only hope open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't be. It won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box were to will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever's inside. <laughs> Go on, open it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh my God! It opens. It 
It's Paracarry. Nice to see you again. Mail call. And now we'll never see you again. I, again, they still have the picture of Mario's partners from the first game. They still have it there. Hey, hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <clears throat> now let's see here. Hey, Act, how's it going? Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came to onto possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box that I got from an old merchant in the town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go uh, treasure, go find treasure all by myself, Am I winning? I mean, maybe. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. How's it going, Act? How's it going? What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map here with the letter. Check it out. Uh, the last time I played this game was a few years ago when I just replayed like the GameCube version on my own time. But it's so nice to play this game on the Switch in glorious updated graphics. I was just reading spoilers first. I see, I see. And speaking of which, I did read the new chapter, and yeah, that's a that's a pretty good chapter. Prologue: A Rogue's Welcome. Welcome. I can't speak, but that's no that's normal for me. Excuse me, sir. Lord Peace is his best one piece. Exactly. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rookport. You see, We'll, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disbark. Yeah, uh, this came in the mail for me today, so I literally just got it, like, an hour ago. Not even. And then just got everything set up and ready to go. Yeah, I don't know how you will do a Joy Boy flashback, but yeah, kind of need it, don't we? I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed. Uh, just a bit by rough wa weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all this, the sordid tales about Rogueport on the way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess here waiting for you. Is that so? Er, uh, uh, occur of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Even he, even this guy knows about how, how the shithole this place is. What does badge only run mean again? Uh, whenever we level up, we only boost BP. We don't boost HP or FP through level up. So if we need HP, if we need FP, it has to be through badges. That is the, the idea. I figured I did that for the original Paper Mario, and I played this many times, uh, you know, on the GameCube version. I figured, why not play? Why not do something a little bit more unique? Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have at we a bit of advice on me. Hit that safe block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. And I think I'll do that. Yeah, save all the vents, blah, blah, blah. If you get a game over, you start at the title screen again. You can continue the last save point, blah, blah, blah. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress. 
I ain't seen nothing like that. No? I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? I love this. This place has so much personality. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oi, come off it. Oh, come off it. I know you're a noisy book, book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about, uh, about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student to tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. What do you got to say? <laughs> Out of the way, you scallywags. Move your ever-loving bones. Do you guys say anything to... Another fight? I swear, you hardly get through a morning stretch before someone throws a punch in this town. <laughs> Looks like another dust-up among rogues. Blokes in this town have fuses short by a half. Too short to half. In times of violence like these, you gotta give that save block a whack to save your progress. Really? Nail it on the save block. Because the thing about life is you don't know. You never know when you'll see that big game over screen. You get me? I keep saying things wrong, but that's normal for me. Uh, blimey! A fight! Gork it! <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in a broad daylight, eh? Am I what? Am I right, mate? Yikes! Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Oh my god, they actually react! That's not something that was done in the GameCube! They actually react when you hit them with the hammer! Oh, now I'm gonna have fun. Look at this. That's not something that was in the original. Like I go anywhere with a smelly loser like you. <laughs> not likely. Mario game roped in. Huh? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Mario's just being roped into this. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb hmm. Ah, yes. Here we go. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. How do you know I have a hammer? Did you see me uh, whack the other guys, uh, the pedestrians? We don't really have anything to use, so just do the thing. At least we start with the ability with timed hits instead of, uh, you know, the original game. Sweet. You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Okay, guarding still works like normal. But, I need to try to do the super guards. I gotta get back in the groove. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Ah, nope. Didn't get it to work. Super guarding. Oh, wait. Is this one of those cases where super guarding is added later? Maybe. I'm not sure. There we go. Stylish. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Mario, you should know what star points are. <laughs> That's what these little points are. Star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So yeah, uh, I really don't know much about this version. All I know is... I saw the first trailer, uh, the first release trailer. I know about a bit of censorship that we're going to get into and I'll discuss when we get there. It won't be that long. And I heard talks about Vivian and we'll get to Vivian when we get to Vivian. But that's all I really know about this. So more or less, what if there's anything new, I don't know anything about it. 
<laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Oh no, we're getting swarmed! Quick, this way! They all basically just punch each other. Ew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? <laughs> uh, we can't get too close to Crump. Okay. Anything? Well, okay, so R button brought, brings all that up. L does nothing. ZL does nothing. Okay. <laughs> Stop! It's like a Looney Tunes gag. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see him? Did anyone? Which one's Johnson? I think it's uh, the one in uh, like the top right over there. Oh, crud, they bloated. They bolted, bloated. Jeez, I can't speak. <laughs> they bloated. I. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. And there's just a noose in the center of town. This place has a personality. I just got to give you a little reward. Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta let the background happen. Unless it moves on through text. We got the Piantas there. Okay, I think I have to move on with the text for a little bit. My name is Gumbella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh... Who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. I'm just waiting for the background. Cool. Anyways, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? There they go. <laughs> yes. Oh, Mario's actually paying attention to that. Stay down, bro. Debra sends his greetings. How dat road tastes. Um, are you okay? Did that hurt? Those jerks! We won't forget this. Oh my god. We just saw, like, mafia and shenanigans in the background. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and re weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What do you got there? Oh my gosh! It's... Is that a map? You have to tell me where you got it. Princess Peach? What? Great hogly bogly! If it isn't Master Mario! Hey, it's Toad's Earth. You disappeared for years! It's... it's I, I almost say it's nice to see you again. Seriously, Toadsworth has disappeared from the Mario canon for the longest time. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this short, sort of place. <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this Wetcher Woodberg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you that she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where the Princess Peach is? Hmm. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embra embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll re uh, recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your heart points running low. Just drop in, uh, just drop on in. <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. 
Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Uh, Princess Peach, did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a second. This is wild! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa! This is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then? Do you think... Do you think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Without the map, she would have trouble with it. Oh, oh! I know, Mario! Come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show... Uh, we'll show... Oh, we'll show him your map. If we, if we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella has way more personality than Goombario. Out of the two, I prefer Goombella, obviously. But Goombario, you know, has like the whole fanboy character going on with them. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. The world building character. Press X to learn about a person. That is Gunther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being sw uh, swindled or mugged. I mean, wouldn't you? <laughs> press, press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It is a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you need? Do you think you mastered Goombella's abilities by now? Of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with head bunk, or look at an enemy's HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my uh, go find my professor. Thing is, since I got into town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. Molly, what do you want? My dog, what do you want? You want any attention? Are you just being needy? I think you're being needy. Yes, I can see you're being needy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Come on. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. So wait, let me see. Oh, okay. If you don't know what to do. That's nice. That wasn't in the original. Molly, come on. You coming up? I guess not. Okay. What have we got to say? I'm looking for... How old is Molly again? She's like... She's gonna be like seven in a month. So... Kind of middle... Middle in there. Molly, come on. Come here. Up, come here. There you go. Okay, she fa she found her bone. She found her bone. She's fine. <laughs> She's having fun. Okay. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. That's Goomther. The Goom he's always grumbling about getting ripped off. He must be easy to con, which isn't to say that we should con him. Of course. Are you sure about that, Goombella? <laughs> now I'm gonna, like, hit everyone with the hammer now that I know we can do this. <laughs> you smell that? This smell like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that any of you... Not that it's any of your business. That guy's, uh, mouse a million. He sniffs out propositions that might, uh, make him... That might make him loot. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogue Party is really cut out for that suit and tie life. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. This is Rogue Park's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folks here, but there are also near do wells. If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. 
What do we got here? Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. And I see a, there's a bounty for like a like a cowboy Koopa there. That's I don't remember that being in the GameCube version. Uh, welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. Okay, nothing special. What do you say? Toad Bros Bazaar is run by a pair of Toad Brothers. This one is Tariff T. They must get along really well to be able to run a shop together, you know. But then again, you and Luigi are pretty tight, right? You guys ever fight? I mean... I mean, remember in Mario Power Tennis where Luigi wins, Mario walks up to him and then just grinds on his shoe? You know, takes his own foot and just starts, you know... <laughs> it's, uh... It's, it's, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe he was really salty about Luigi winning. I don't know. Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to uh, explain our shop point system with new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase, up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? Save up enough points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. You find a list of prizes posted at any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Can you explain it again? No, I'm good. Now with that said... Hey there, fella. Welcome to our Toe Brothers Bazaar. And we have storage there, too, so that's nice. That's Plenty, the manager of the Tobo Brothers Bazaar. He originally opened the store with his brother, Thrifty. Those two guys, I can never tell them apart, you know. They're totally identical. Does she say anything about the store itself? No, just main square. Okay. No, I got, I got it now. I gotta just whack everyone with a hammer. Well, let's go back here. Wait, is that just... Hold on. A fade to black? That's... Huh. In the original game, the camera literally just, like, flipped over. It didn't fade to black. That's... Okay, that's interesting. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell you someone. I, I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then he came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rokeboard. Now that I told you I'm lying low in this thieves' den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. If you were so sly, why'd you tell me? That's McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think he's... I think he may... I think maybe he's on the land for, from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. Okay. I have to check. I, I know I will have to go back to this house in a second, but I have to check. Oh, what do you got to say? <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not, but not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. That's a suspicious Dugon. He craves that, uh, that one big score. Well, I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he didn't make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. <clears throat> I gotta check this house. I have to know. Okay. It's not like the original GameCube. So, <clears throat> in the original GameCube version, in Japan, there is a toad outline on the ground around here. Implying that one was murdered <laughs> and it was a crime scene. That was taken out of, like, at least the... U.S. GameCube version, and it looks like they kept it. Uh. And we got a star piece. I had to know if they kept the outline or not. Kind of wish they did. <laughs> this place is, like... It, are you not going to bon bonk the cockroach? Can I bonk the con cockroach? Let's see. Oh my god! Huh. You get coins for that. That, okay. That's new. Did you know about that act, or were you just wanting me to bonk the cockroach? Because I didn't know about that. 
can uh, I guess there's incentive to actually do pest control in this town. You did not know. Okay. <laughs> That is true, yeah. Oh! This music change! Oh, I love it. I love this music change. That wasn't in the original. Sorry. Oi, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days. But I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. That guy's a bomb, a uh, bomb sailor. I think he he comes here every time he his ship makes port. I don't blame him. This place has totally cool atmosphere. It'd be a re I'd be a regular too. Can't you take a hit, pal? Mean scram! Don't talk to me. That guy practically lives here. He must like it. Uh, he's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love of his life, one by one. Oh, what are you doing sneaking up on a person as he sings the most joyfully? Jovially, I mean. Who? Me? You ask about? Ah, uh, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The... The richest man in Rogueport. You are a traitor, all right. <laughs> That's the entre uh, an entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing here so early in the day, though? Think he's doing okay? Wait, do we have anything to say? Rogueport's main square, okay. I have to check, like, I wanna see if there's extra dialogue. Welcome to, uh, to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, there's an ups uh, inn upstairs. When you're wary, go up, go on up and relax. That's the innkeeper Podley. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. I wouldn't mind having a cold choco uh, cola sometime and listening to him talk. He opened this inn a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. Chocola Cola, that was, that's Superstar Saga, uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Hold on. Gotta do this. Have to now. It's my main goal to bonk everyone now. Like that. What do we got here? Hey, it's Toad Tour. Oi! Where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. That's Toadsworth, steward of the Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Princess Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. Uh, wait. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. <laughs> Our beds will soothe your soul. Care to rest five points? No, I'm good. What do you got to say? That woman runs the inn. She's sweet and helpful, unlike most rogue porters. <laughs> If your HP get too low, come here to get a rest. Yeah. Now, of course, there's the leaky roof there, you know. Sorry, we're closed. We open at 11 a.m. today. Okay, I can't go in there. Probably won't be able to go in there until after Chapter 1, to be honest. Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose my, a, a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whenever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? I mean, she's not wrong about moving an inch. You can move forward, you can move back, you can even just jump. Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! I only have a hundred coins. Is that enough? Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. 
I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. And we're blocked off. We can't get through. No, she won't let me. That's Zest T, a super skilled toad chef. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like uh, a, ki a kitchen magician. I'm like a total klutz in the kitchen, so I can respect a chef's touch. No, look, I am not letting you into the west uh, west part of town of town. You buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I guess we'll just head... Did I talk to you? I don't remember. Look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach... Te I'll teach you something about... How about that? Man, I can't speak. If you press R, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. I didn't know that, actually. If you have low HP, you ought to just rest it in so you can recover. Use your head. That guy is a lo local Goomba. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you ought to talk to him as often as possible. Photo finish? <laughs> Wait, did Goombo just teleport? I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Frankly, actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter the town uh, from the harbor, just hang on, hang on right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? That's a lazy dugong. He hunts he hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. But he'll, uh, but he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. The guy bumps into you and you just and just runs off like that? Unbelievable. Some people are just so rude. And he stole my money. This is Rogueport's east side. It's considered dangerous here, even for Rogueport. This is this is Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. Or Robos? I'm not sure. Then again, you can also find Merlon here. He can help your partners level up. Still, it's definitely too rough a place for a non-ruffian like me to walk alone. But in the meantime, I gotta get my money back. I've just been mugged. Again, the, the fate of black is throwing me off. That was not the case in the original. Give me back my money. Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine. Fine, okay? You got me. I'll give your coins back. Here. He takes half of your coins. It's ridiculous. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent-looking people in this town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change. Okay, buddy? That's a bandit who's made this place his hideout. It seems like he totally loves this place. But would it kill him to clean up a bit? I mean, if he cleaned up, he probably it would probably reveal the the toad outline. So, no, it's probably better for him that it stays a mess. Just a little detour to get my money back. I think the first time I played this, I didn't know you could get your money back, and I just kept going. Let's take a look around. <laughs> I'm pulling another car trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bonk you. You mean like this? That's Larson, the bandit. The world's out. Uh, the word's out on a scam, so he's lying low here. Of course, he wouldn't have to lay low anywhere if he just kept his nose clean. You think maybe he just gets the thrill from uh, breaking the law or what? Okay. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places. And I'm done talking for now. And that's that. That's Darkly. He loves the dark. He just stays here in the shadows all day long. Sounds kind of creepy to me. But hey, whatever pals you're up. Know what I mean? First of all, 
I, 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 get, there we go, get my coin. There we go. Anything over here? Normally I, there we go, there's the star piece. I know I spent like 45 minutes already, but like, there's a, there's a lot to look through if you want to take this slow. Hey, you big old rube. I, it ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You, you never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful. Live longer. That's Goomfrey, the Goomba. He looks kind of shady. I guess, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, pal! You're an outsider! Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins pass through. You try to pass without paying, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you up. Whip you, but good. Actually, I'm just gonna leave. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves that who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac. But he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge a book by don't judge books by its cover. Can we take a look at uh, Merlin? To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. That's Merlin. He's an he's he's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here for three shine sprites. He raised a partner one he raises a partner one rank. Uh, Super Magician, I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you, if you wish, with three Shine Sprites. I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I'll boost their attack power. But I'll also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner do I wish? I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't, I, I can't power up anyone. It's sad. I know, it's very tragic. Oh, he actually has a sign over his house now, showing that's his place. Interesting. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you! You! Now, you! Um... Wait for it, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um... It's not Goombrail. Er, it's not Elzagoom. Mmm... Mmm... Aha! I got it! You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class uh, class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Gumbella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not, not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an excep exceptional student. And that got behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping to tell, uh, we hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I'd know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why would the, t why would, but why do you types want to learn about some legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have, have to search for truth in these fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. The Thousand Year Door treasure is real, Goombella. <laughs> Good point, and we'll, and we'll make and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing what the legendary treasure is. Some, sh some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously. It's impossible to define truth, the uh, uh, divine the Divine the truth among them. Divine the truth among them. 
Shouldn't it be define with F, not V? I, okay, I, I, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agreed on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes. With a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. That's how you know lore is, like, real. If it rhymes. If there's a rhyme to it. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey! I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then, the stars will, the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck! It seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had the map. But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Oh, I'm just hearing, like, the kazoo part of the song. <laughs> you, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goodbye, Mario. Let's take that magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go. This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Do you say anything, Goodbye? No, east side, okay. Can we bunk anything? Oh! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the case in the original, too. Garbage pail is empty. That's fine. Bet you didn't know this rotten, rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> yeah, it just... Falls off the entire face of reality. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. So, hold on. I'm... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, just something occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums down uh, below, so, uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice action commands before we descend? I already know how to play. I think I'm good. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe. No, no, I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what uh, what show on screen. When guarding, press A in time with your opponent's attack. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right, now down we go. Just stand stand on the pipe and press A to enter it. Oh, really? Okay, that's different. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we actually just kind of fall into the pipe, not just stand on top of it like before but moving down doesn't move doesn't go into the pipe interesting ah uh, here we go let's check the left side and we can't explore much what do you have to say ah uh -huh. welcome mario i'm more lovely the re lovely fortune teller Seeing my with my amazing abilities that which you, uh, you seek is my humble job. The light of shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! Shall I see something for you? Next path, I think that's just telling you where you need to go. Which, if we have the ZL button, then we'd never need that, I think. You can find star, uh, star pieces or shine sprites. Is that so? Well... If there's any, ever anything you want to find, just ask. Wait. There we go. 
That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you expect. She defines the lo she defines the locations of things or where we should go. People say she's always right. And people say all kinds of secrets are hidden under her veil. So I guess the veil is working as intended. Wait, no, hold on. Not what I meant. Not what I meant either. Uh, welcome, Mario. If you wish for me to divide my, uh, use my divining skills, speak from across the table. Right. We're down be below Roport. Folks say these are the ruins of a thousand-year-old town. Even though these buildings are crumbling, some seem safer than the, those above us. The people living here mostly can't show their faces above for one reason or another. Some have actually started success, uh, started, uh, started successful businesses here, though. What a hardy bunch! Or hardy bunch. God, I can't, I can't read. <laughs> oh, star piece. But yeah, if we have this right here, then why do we need Mer Lovely? I guess it's just one of those cases where it made sense in the original because that this button didn't exist. Or that tool, whatever. We're down below Roport. The current town was built on top of this ancient one. Pretty surprising to find this all down here, right? Kind of blows my mind. The ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly now. But it was once a great town, really. Hey! Hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool just to walk waltz your way into our underground? And here's... here. Okay. Typical, you surface-level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Oh, <coughs> I can't speak. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't you two? Uh, can't two academics and a world-famous hero wander the sewers of of a port in? Port town in peace? This is your usual greeting to visitors? That you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What? You're too good for a fight if you ain't looking for a tussle that stay out of the sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. So, that line was censored. At least, you know, when comparing it to the original GameCube version. I don't know if the line was changed in the Japanese version of this version. But the line in question, they weren't talking about, um, you know, just complaining about surface dwellers. They were catcalling Goombella. <laughs> they were basically saying something along the lines of, Hey, good looking, why don't you come over here and hang out with us? And then she throws it back at him and be like, wow. That type of, uh, she says something along the lines of, wow, that, uh, that, uh, <sighs> that made me want to barf, you know, something like that. And then, then you fight them. Honestly, it's a dumb change. Honestly, like, it makes sense within the world itself. The original line makes more sense. This, we already see that this place is a shithole. So, all the mugging, all the all the crime that's going on in town, that's all okay. But some Goombas cat calling Goombella, that's a no, that's a no no. We can't have that in our children's game. Even though Goombella stands up for herself, we can't have that. I think kids were able to handle this type of dialogue 20 years ago. I don't know. I have never heard someone cat call i have never heard a story where someone cat called a woman and said it's okay paper mario the thousand year door said it was okay you know it's clear that these guys are bad guys and then we beat them up anyway so it's like i'm anyway a goomba a spiky goomba and a para goomba my the, the whole goomba family tree the only one i should warn you about the about is the one in the middle the spiky goomba See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who'll take damage. The Paragoomba is airborne, so your hammer won't uh, won't reach. You'll have to jump for her. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. 
and be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get them. All right. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Kumbella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here, watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck. All right. So first, I'm going to have Gubella in front, and let's just start tattling on them. Oh, I forgot to do the stylish. <coughs> That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to know. That's totally rude. Maximum HP 2, attack of 1, defense of 0. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. I do kind of like how it actually shows the stats on the on the right. That wasn't there before. Alright. Okay, I got the guard right, but... Eh, there's the super guard! Well, since we did 1 damage to the Paragoomba, let's target him next. There's the stylish. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP 2, attack 1, defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump, it will totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. There we go, I'm getting the super guards down. I used to be very good at the super guards. Good. Uh, but the last time I played the GameCube version, the last time I played the GameCube version, I just couldn't do it anymore because the input lag on modern TVs, you know? So honestly, that alone makes me very glad that this release exists. That's a spiky Goomba, a spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. HP of 2, attack of 2, defense of 0. Guess that spike helps boost this attack compared to the average Goomba. In addition, the addition of the spike means you'll you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it, duh. Well, let's use our hammer. There we go. Like the new battle theme. Owie! Ha! Huh. Later on, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if any enemy catches sight of you, be sure to th uh, thump him as you go into battle. Anyway, we can't continue on this way. Can't do anything about that. Can't go in there, so just move on over here. And frankly, just teleports. That's fine. You know what? One thing I wish they did add in this game that was in the original... Th the original Paper Mario, but taking out a thousand year door, the spin move is not here. That lets you get to places faster. They took that out of the original thousand year door and I wish they kept it. And I kind of wish this version added it back in, but nope, that's not the case. It lets you just get around places faster. There we go. What do we got? Yeah, pretty easy so far. But we're getting okay EXP at the point, so whatever. I'll just fight everything along the way, like I typically do. Beer party journal, no. Don't need any of that. What do we got here? Yay. You got an item. 
Uh, you can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press the open menu. I'm good. We can bonk the enemies as well as the uh, as the normal villagers. We could terrorize the entire community of Thousand Year Door. Yeah, using the stylish moves actually does nothing at the moment, but you know, what else am I gonna do? I got style on my enemies. Fire flower, all right. Can't continue, so yep, go down here. Nothing you can do about that. Okay, I think you have three HP. Okay, let's tattle ya. Again, the cu the cursor moved a lot faster in the original GameCube version, so I'm not used to it being this slow. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP 3, attack 1. Its attacks are super swift, but should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee-haw, hee There we go. Okay, I did not... I did not time the super guard correctly. I did not time the stylish well either. Oh well, it's all good. Have to go this way. So at this point, yeah, we'll just get rid of one. Kind of have to. Yeah, time the jump. Uh, oh, the the time is so small, but yeah. But yeah, ha press A right as Goombo is about to jump and you do the stylish. And I think that's the only one for her normal jump. Oh wait, does she say anything? Who knew that uh, the area under Rogueport extended this far? This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandiness of the ancient civilization when we're down when you're down here. Kind of interesting how like it's apparently like impossible for them to get this far down, even though it's just the floating platform that's blocking your way. Oh, well, I guess the Goombas are just kind of in the way too. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can. That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only, a gr only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy. What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Er, Mario, word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we could trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, try it. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. You're definitely gonna need my help if you if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should you should look for the for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chess guy would know anything about Crystal Stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, we saw it on the way here. And down here. Let's go. 
I should check to see if Gumbella says anything in that room. Yeah. Does she say anything? There's a black chest in the middle of the room. You know, in case you missed it. And, um, yeah, there's just not much else, really. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Oh, uh, yes! Oh, man, I owe you big! Oh? Come on, don't taunt me! H hurry up and open it! This is a black chest. I wonder what's inside it. Okay. There we go. Yes! Yes! Thank <laughs> Thank nothing! Wee! Fools! <laughs> oh boy! Did you fall for it? I burned you! What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Bugga wuggy woo! You're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserved! You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! <laughs> Troubling, trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee! <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. You can, you'll control your tiny pl paper plane by itself by tilting uh, left stick forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt uh, in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key. Try it now and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation! So yeah, you could do this. It's about kind of finding the balance, I think. Oh, I think I just have to match the... Yeah, I just have to match it. Okay. <laughs> when you had enough airplane shame, press B to uh, deplane and get back to normal. So be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Just gives a thumbs up. I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, he held a grudge for a long time, and it wasn't even my fault. There we go. Oh, this looks so nice. This looks so good. Oh, Mario, Gumbella, look at that! Is that the thousand-year door? I can't believe it's real! So the legends are true. Come, let's move closer. Oh, what does Gumbella have to say? This is the site of the famed thousand-year door. The air ripples with power. I read this was where the palace at the center of the ancient town was. Just a little fun fact there. Oh wait, is there a shine sprite over here? I think there is. I thought there was a shine sprite somewhere. Or, not a shine sprite. I mean, I know there's one, but I meant a uh, star piece. I thought there's one somewhere in this room. 
I'm not going for every star piece or anything like that, but... I guess not. I thought there was one in this room. Professor, what's going on? You know, it says hold the map up in front of the crystals, uh, the thousand year door, but I think it has to fly up to that point because Mario is too short. <laughs> it has to be at that right elevation, but Mario is too short for it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're already at the Thousand Year Door! We're here already! The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned the special move you can now use Sweet Treat! Finally, we could do something with those stylish moves. Professor, the map! And what was that with all those strange lights? <laughs> this looks like information related to the location of the Crystal Star. And that shiny light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Yeah, we're already here. That's end game. This is gonna be a single uh, video, a uh, single stream playthrough. Um, aha! I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. And I shall explain. The first thing to know is, this map is truly astounding! Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions and showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like if, it looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Metal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm very certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you could get there instantly. Pipe travel, pipes, pipe travel efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? For Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Peach at a front facing the camera looks strange to me. That's not normal. <laughs> so it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions. My suspicions about Petal Metal Meadows. I can't I can never speak. It does it doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Metals on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group of asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Petal Meadow Meadows. I can never speak. You two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. That is indeed a end we are hunting for, I swear. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay here down and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me. You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper f farewell. Ah, uh, Mario, there is something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can, uh, can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it, well, Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. 
Would you like to try it out? Fine. Excellent! In that case, I'll give your special move a little test run. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have the star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Repeatedly tilt left to shoot the hearts. There we go. Some basic healing. Yeah, you can't hold it down. Don't get the poison mushroom. Like uh, like what I just did. There we go. There, full heal. Since you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is very, is so very important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Cabela, try to attack me, please. Can't tattle him. Getting the stylish. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Let's try it again. Nice, keep building that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. There we go. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more power, star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Oh, that's all I got. Here's the end of my uh, stimulating lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario. There we go. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the power smash. It's called a badge, and it's, incre and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing the effects of will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping? No, I aren't. I know how to do this. I'm absolutely sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm good. I see. Now just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges to make for them to take an effect. By the way, you need flower points to use power smash move. In battle, you should you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Alright. We finally have some badges. Might as well equip it. I think it's just a more yeah, it just increases attack power. That's all it does. Um, so yeah, we can only equip a total of three badge points worth of badges. And when we level up, we are going to only boost the cap of how, how much BP we can use. I don't know if there is a cap for that. I don't remember if there was a, a cap for BP in the original game. If there was, I never hit it. So, even if there is a cap, I don't think we'll have to worry about it. But if there is a cap, that's when we'll... That, that's the only time we'll put in another stuff. What? What is this? The salty... Oh, I have to. A big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely House of Badges. You are welcome here. Now, I know you are a new customer when I see one. So let me give my usual rundown of how my shop works. We have a special curated se uh, selection of recommended badges up here on the counter. 
If you're looking for something more niche, check the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. That covers the basics of using our shop. Okay, moving right along. Oh, I, I'm buying this. Oh, uh, I, I'm glad they added this. The uh, additional tracks unique to the Nintendo Switch version will play too. There's new tracks. Huh. Yep. So if you wanted to play this one with hearing the original, you can. I'm gonna leave it to the new tunes, but I'm glad it. I'm glad this is here. I'm glad this is here. Power jump, more attack power. Has a chance to slowly. Re has a chance of restoring FP each turn. I don't know. I mean, FP is great, but I don't think that badge is worth it. Ooh, piercing blow, ignore defense. Make actions commands easy, but earn less star power. Nope. What's this? Last stand, FP drain, super appeal, and simplifier. Makes action commands harder, but earn more star power. I don't remember that one. Oh, by the way, when it comes to the badges, I'm going to try my best not to use da the Danger Mario strats. That's basically... Danger Mario is if you get uh, to 1 HP, your attack increases immensely. And then you pair that up with, I believe it's Power Bounce? Power Jump? I forget what it is. But it's a multi-hit, single-target move. It's too good. Too broken. I don't like it. Or, it's not that I don't like it. I just think it's too easy to just get that set up and be like, Oh, badge only run. It's easy. No, let's just be a little bit more creative, you know? A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. And you could sell badges, too. That's the badge clerk that works part-time here at the lovely House of Badges. It sounds like he really wants to open his own badge so shop someday. Yeah, I think he's using this job to, er to learn the business. Talk about motivation. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's the badge manager at the lovely House of Met Badges. For a manager, she sure is gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? This shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. So, is there anything else I could buy? No. No, there isn't. Not unless I, like, destroy some cockroaches. I think we'll have piercing blow. I like having... Types. There we go. I like having ignore defense more than power smash. But I don't know how likely I would need to ignore defense. Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. There we go. There we go. I did my job. Nothing over here. I think there's a... There we go. There's a star piece. Alright, now we'll move on to the next area. Wait, is there something back here? Yes, there is. Graffiti corner. I saw Mario get pickpocketed. I guess even superstars can be taken to the cleaners. I wonder how many coins that fat cat has on him anyway. Housekeeping Goomba. Glowing mysterious light under the city? Smells like treasure, people. Wow, it already changed. Does anyone say anything different? No. I don't think so. It's still basically prologue. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think we're safe. Let's move on to... Chapter 1. I don't think I could... F I mean, I could try... No. Wait. Who are you? You're new. Hey there, kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like, to fight with your whole heart? You're new. I can see you're brimming with potential, kid. But there's a heap of... Uh, there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves. Hitting it big. There's a whole list. Feeling free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master. And I don't stop him, but I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life traveling and training. Uh, 
some third thing. If you if you see me around, give me a holler. Need something from old bound? Practice action commands, secrets of battle, hold on. What do you want to know? Leveling, okay, leveling up star points, blah, blah, blah. I know that, equipping badges. Getting more badges, jumping tips, hammering tips, hammer range, guarding tips, super guard tips. Nice, good, great, etc. Special moves, star power. Stylish moves, hitting bingo, no, not that. Using item sets, changes you don't want, switching action order. Running gets you nowhere, about Gumbella, power of partners. Tips of audience members, enemies with spikes, fly, defense damage, enemies with items, enemies with badges, enemies that drop items. Hold on. Enemies with badges. So I actually figured out how badges work and start the battle with one equipped. They really are stronger with those things, so watch out. I'm not going to go through this entire thing. Enemies that drop items. Hold on. Enemies drop coins when you beat them. Sometimes they drop other stuff too. There might be hearts that restore it. Well, you need to drop items or badges, especially when those enemies were holding the stuff in battle. I mean, I kind of knew that, so I thought he'd probably say something more different. Hold on. Lots of different folks show up to watch the battles. Let's run through some. Throw only good stuff. Luigi throws really good stuff, but doesn't show up often. Good buzz, the dry buzz, throw trash. Watch out. Nothing that I didn't know already. What does he say about stylish moves? Back up to star power, get used to stylish moves. You do that pressing A with real good timing when you or your partner attacking the enemy. You'll be able to tell you pulled it up by, off by little changes in how the move looks. You can use the timing tutor badge to show, the, uh, show you when the A icon is at the right time to show it off. Oh right, if you want to practice these, I can help you with my practice action command shtick. Okay, that's not a bad one. And what is this? Hold on. Star power from the crowd. The amounts of star power will increase in the order of nice, good, great, wonderful, and excellent. You can use the simplifier badge to make those action commands easier, but you'll get less star power. You can also use the unsimplifier to badge to make them harder if you want a little extra star power. And let's just see what he says about super guard. Now, everybody knows about this, but if you pull off a super guard, you won't take any damage from an attack. Not only that, but you might even sneak some damage back onto the enemy. Pretty sweet, eh? Press B right when the attack hits to get some of that sweet super su super guard action, kiddo. Okay, I can't... Yeah, okay. I, I knew this. Gotcha! Give me some time to figure out a few new secrets to come... And come back... Uh, come on back whenever. Stuff that I kind of already figured, but it's impl okay. One thing he's implying with uh, the badges that the enemies equip, it sounds like he's saying they're actually equipped to them, meaning they can actually use it if possible. That's what he implied. I'm not sure if that's actually the case, but to me, I just thought they were just holding on to it. It's kind of soggy and majorly gross. Hmm. Seems to be almost... It, it seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? Looks like some seawater found its way here, huh? Yeah, that's a health hazard. I bet some weird sea things lived in there, too. So try not to fall in the water, okay? You can't tell me what to do! I'm going for a swim! <laughs> Love it. Soggy, majorly gross, and then... Oh, that hurts! Grant... Granted, I think we were the monsters here. It was just my its own business. Who just... Who just ups and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. Oh, 
give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. All right. Um, let's start with the tattle. How? Uh, okay, affects all of you. Got the stylish. That's a blooper. And a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S. Gross. Max HP 12, attack 1, defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make some seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Well, this is a good time to use the fire flower. There we go. Now it's time to attack. And I guess we can use Power Smash. It would be better to have Power Jump, though, out of the two. not do that right, but it's okay. There we go. Oh, you get 50 coins for that. You know what I'm going to do with that 50 coins? I'm going to get the power jump. Yeah, let's go back to town. I'm, I'm gonna go buy that power jump badge. That's better than the hammer one. Because let's be honest, jumping's way better than using the hammer. You get way more out of jumping than because it's two hits versus a single hit from the hammer. You get way more out of it. Just make it a small detour. Again, I love that they actually made a theme for that room specifically. Okay, what do we got? Last stand partner, power jump, simplifier, last stand, super appeal. We're just gonna buy the power jump. There we go, I can't equip anything else. What am I doing? There we go. That we can keep them. We can keep them both for now. If I need to swap out one, I'll swap out power hammer, power smash. So I don't need both. Pierce hammer though, that could be useful. All right. Now we'll continue on all these delays I know all right back to the plot all right yeah there we go Almost there. And we can't go further, so here we go. Chapter 1. Castle and Dragon. Here we are, the Petto Meadow Meadows where the folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. 
The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Hold on, is there anything in the trees? Yes, there was. Anything in here? Yeah, already. Ah, the Petal Meadow Meadows. A plateau surrounded by hills far to the east of Rockport. It's mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, and Mario, if you hit a tree, sometimes the good stuff falls out. I, I know that came out a l l little left field, but I mean it. If you see a suspicious tree, smack it. That? Oh, okay. Mario looking up, that's new. We're gonna go fight a dragon as our first boss. It's great. Already doing, uh, we're already gonna defeat the dragon lord. <laughs> oh, what was that? I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's just, let's just get going in case it comes back. Here we go! Again! <laughs> anyway, that was scary. Let's hope we never have to deal with that dragon ever again. What do we got? Okay, we got a mushroom. Good. Anything? Nope. Nothing in here? Okay. Wait, hold on. Gotta check. Anything? Nope. Okay. There we go. We got you taken care of. Hey, Luigi's in the crowd. Wait, tattle check? Spiky Gooba? Oh, you can just look at this at any time. Okay. Without actu actually having to waste your turn again. That's nice. And I like how Goombo is in the top left right there. That, I, that wasn't there. Interesting. Okay. That's new. So he should drop the item now, or he just has a chance of dropping it? No, it's a chance of him dropping it. Anything? No? Okay. And we get the close call badge. When you're below 5 HP in battle, foes will sometimes miss. Hmm. I don't think we'll need it. Oh, it's not right now. And yeah, just Goombas for now. But yeah, this game really improved a lot of what the original game built upon. And I mean the N64 Paper Mario. And I know there's a ROM hack where they took the uh, they took the original N64 Paper Mario and they added mechanics that were added in Thousand Year Door. Like partners actually having HP, badges that actually affect the partner specifically. You can easily do a run of Thousand Year Door. I know I'm kind of jumping between subjects, but like... You can easily make a run of Thousand Year Door where you like only use your partners. And it could be a viable run. Or only Mario. Although only Mario was something you could do. Uh, in the original. You could also do a partner only run in uh the original but because they didn't really have hp it was a little bit more uh not harder but anyway oh yeah definitely different oh one more thing mario if you ever find yourself wondering what to do just press the out yeah i already know i already know this this is Petal Meadows. The river running through here totally makes the air uh, air crisp and refreshing. Granted, I didn't really need the badges, but it's nice to have them right now. There we go.
Oh, and we had the bingo right there, but didn't need it. We had the bingo lined up. Let's see. There's no... There's no bridge here. How are we supposed to cross? Don't I have to, like, shake the bushes? Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought you just had to examine it. I think that's how it was in the GameCube version. You had to examine it, but I guess you hit it with the hammer. Anything else over here? Yes, a star piece. And we can't continue forward past that, so just turn around. Man, I really wish I could, like, do the speedy spin stuff. That would be nice. Anything to the left? No, nothing to the left. Uh, I'm so used to, like, just holding down on the control stick to just go through the pipe. But no, that's not... Ooh, we have a mystery. Fire flower, all right. All right, let's move on. Petalburg. Ah, uh, the music. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since I've ha we've had visitors here. Yippity! Once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around the area. Or yeppity. I think you said yeppity. Okay, my bad. Well, it didn't help tourism, but that it, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Oh, scary name. Pfft. By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Visitors are sure rare here. But they're always welcome. Make yourselves at home. That's a Petalburg Koopa. He seems sort of like the spokesperson for this town. I heard this guy's thinking of running for mayor. He must be more ambitious than he looks. This is Petalburg. It's nice and warm here, and the air is so clean. With such a peaceful uh, hamlet, there's a shop and inn, so you can buy stuff and rest. Oh, and one more thing. The river's pretty, but fall in and nibbles will get you. Oh, that's what the fish is called, nibbles. Okay. Top of the morning, tis I, Bub, uh, Bub Obler. I am as happy as I could be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. That's bu uh, Bub Obler. Doesn't it kind of weird? Doesn't it kind of weird you're out seeing a to seeing a talking flower? I mean, where's his head? Is it the flower part or the bulb part? I mean, it doesn't weird me out. We've been to f uh, flower meadows and. The original the first one. A oh, hooktail. She lives at the top of the old castle beyond the beyond this hammock in uh, hummock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard of the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. You're not wrong about that. Scores of people have gone in and searched for it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? That's a Petal Koopa Koopa Troopa. He likes spreading rumors about Hooktail's treasure. Unless they're not just rumors. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to the kid here in a sec. Let me check anything in here. That's Petalburg Innkeeper. She'll take care of you when you're hurting. Don't get all proud and overdo it out there. I mean, everyone has their limits. 
Hey, and staying at the end will even refill your star power. Doesn't that rule? Even innkeepers have different dialogue for Goombella. Let's check it up here. That's Nifty, the manager of the shop. You can buy and show sell items here. I gotta say, he reminds me of the guys in Rogueport shop. Yeah, real similar. Hmm, maybe it's just me. Or maybe I should just not worry about it. <laughs> it's like Officer Jenny. Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy. That's a tote from Petalberg. He seems to have a negative outwork, outlook on most things. He also seems freaked out by everything around him. Poor little guy. Hey, did you happen to pick up any PAL blocks on your way here? If not, you'll notice that they got them for sale right here. Intent. Lucky for you. Uh, lucky for uh, lucky for you that you stopped by. Unless you enjoy getting clobbered to denim-clad smither smither smithereens. That is. I think I will buy a single pal block. I know I know we'll find one, but I think it's a good idea to have one on hand. And. No, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Okay, I gotta know what this kid says. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. Really? 20 years later. This is one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they kept the dialogue the same. This kid, this kid sure is a fanatic. All he talks about is video games. You notice that? I wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important too. I'm surprised he still talks about the GBA Fire Emblem game. It's like, I thought they would have updated that to be like, uh, Fire Emblem Engage or something. I'm kind of shocked. Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Is it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur de la Moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, Mon Petit Char. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dollar to come away with me. Oh, okay. I see how it is. We're not okay with Goomba, uh, Goomba's cat calling Goombella, but we're okay with this French guy trying to court Goombella over. I see how it is. Okay. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig. You disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Chimp. Exactly, like, this is like the dialogue she would have basically said to the Goombas. <sighs> if there's one thing that annoys me more than censorship, it's inconsistent censorship. They censored the Goombas. Now, again, I don't know what the Japanese text of the remake is for that one, but when I compare the GameCube version, like, this is basically how it would have went down. But yet, we have this disco guy here, that, and he's okay with basically doing what the Goombas used to do. More or less. If there's one thing that annoys me more than censorship, it's inconsistent censorship. Be consistent at the very least. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus bleh. I, I don't, I can't speak French. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come find me. I like how some of these guys have new poses. Like, throughout the entire game. A total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. I did not know that about that line. And it was probably in the original. But I am General White. I am Bob. I am a bomb. I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude any always. I must apologize, but I ask you to leave me alone. Uh, if you know, you know. That's General White, the bomb. I guess white bombs are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. I mean, it is a great mustache. Ah, uh, this guy. Okay. Hey, keep your hands, uh, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is a one-of-kind collectible. 
This guy is apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get a life. Know what I mean? Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of, of plush, plush Peach dolls, too. Mario, do you collect uh, Princess Peach merch? If Peach were to walk into Mario's house right now and find Peach merch, will she be horrified or okay with that? Or would Mario be like, no, 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 this is Luigi's. This is Luigi's merch. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air. Absolutely delicious. With this foul hooktail. She's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. That's a bowl. Uh, a talking flower. I think he lives in Petalburg. I know he's a plant, but he makes more sense than these other quirky Petalburgers. This is Petalburg. The warm weather makes the locals laid back and happy. Wow, and talk about unique personality personalities. Very individualistic, to put it nicely, or not so nicely. Downright, downright cookie. Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets my name from time to time. That's Petalburg Koopa. He always seems to be worried about something. It's weird too. Because the rest of this town is so laid back, you know? What we got down here? Ah, the Traveling Sisters. Hey, 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 it's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big, bad hooktail. We can't wait to see her. These are the Traveling Sisters 3. I, I don't know if I like the name. And I'm pretty sure that's how it was in the original. They seem to go everywhere together. They also seem inattentive. Do they even notice each new place they wind up in? What do we got? Uh, I hear there's a scary looking monster that lives near town. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. Very bad idea. Uh, the very idea freaks me out. What can I do if one attacks me? I wonder if the shop has a way for me to throw money at the problem. <laughs> Love that phrasing right there. That's a toad for Pelberg. He just seems like a regular toad to me. I hear he leads a secret life as a president of the Luigi fan club. Well, someone has to be. I forgot, I haven't been bonking people on the head. I apol My apologies. I've been forgetting to do so. I gotta make up for it. There we go. We closed the gate because the mayor told us to. My job is guarding the gate. That's the gatekeeper to Petalburg. He's super uh, du uh, dutiful about guarding this gate. But I bet he's totally run for cover if real monsters ever showed up here. I just get this feeling about him. Goomba's intuition, maybe. That's a battle master. He's a master of battling. Let me know. Let me know if I'm going too fast here. He'll teach you the secrets of battling and help you practice tricky action commands. So if you're having trouble mastering any aspects of battle, just ask the battle master. I mean, obviously. I don't remember if I tattled him. You need something from the battle master. Is new stuff added? Wait. How blocks in detail? Huh. Okay, that was added, probably because I bought the item. Okay, but nothing really. Alright. Hey, since you're here, let me ask. How many people do you think Hooktails gobbled? All the time, I mean. I, I hear she recently lunched on a, on Old Man Scoo two villages over. And Koopas, who live next door? Oh, oh. And Koops, who lives next door. His father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. That's to Toys T. Toys Toys T. A toad from Petalburg. She seems really huffy about something. She sure keeps a straight face though. I guess she's a pretty tough cookie. Let's go. We'll ignore the mayor for a second. Oh wait, I'm sorry. 
My apologies. I keep for I, I I haven't been doing my job. My apologies. There we go. I've done my job. Bunk. There we go. I, I think I've made I think I made up for it. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hook tail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you. A Scoopy Coo, a local pedal burger. She seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute. She has a good head on her shoulders, too. Thing is, because she's, so, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. But I, I guess it's a complicated relationship. But then again, what relationship isn't? There we go. Let's go visit Coops. Mm, hi there, folks. Did you come to this village to look for the treasure of Hooktail Castle? Well, that Hooktail is one tough cookie. Nothing else in here, it looks like. Oh, wait! That's Coops from Pedalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a cringer, you know? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. Wonder why. I mean, we kind of already know based on uh, Toys T. Based on that dialogue. Can we get in here? Yes. There we go. We got Turley Leaf. Uh, 3 FP. Okay. Oh, we get clear images of... Looks like him and his wife. I don't remember if it was that clear in the GameCube version. That's Krupp, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? Hmm. Was it? Someone there. Oh, who is it? Who? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Oh, I know. You're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa, despicable- I can't- <coughs> My throat. <clears throat> Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Well, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends! And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and my missus, and can't you- can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, that's your story, then. Oh, wait. You're, you folks are looking for the Crystal Stars. Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Crystal Stars, you say? You're hunting. Mm, wait. What did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, oh, I got it. Hooktail. <coughs> Hooktail's got what you're looking for. I, I think I need to stop with the voices. It's actually hurting, hurting my throat. She's this enormous, uh, ordinary dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this Hooktail's brutal f uh, fly, fly by snackings of all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough, rough her up? Y you got it. Well, it sounds promising. Well, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You accept no reward? I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man. You noble indeed. Hmm, yes, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy. Hmm, that's a fine name, yes. A fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. Name's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, find the secret pipe that is located somewhere in Petal, Petal Meadows. You know you need the suns. I know you need the sunstone and the moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in uh, Schwank Forest uh, Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and really wallop that Hooktail monster.
Now let's go get the Sun and Moonstones. I mean, we gotta evolve, you know, our Clefairy and our uh, Oddish. Or Gulum, sorry. Some stone masters live at Schwank Fortress up ahead, or so we fear. This gate is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Er, beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I hear you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, uh, have a favor to ask. Um, um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think uh, is going on inside that guy's shell? I, I, I'm sorry. I just remembered something. Before we go on to the fortress. There. My apologies. I'll come back for the rest. <laughs> this path leads to Schwank Fortress. Is it just me, or is the area darker? There are enemies around if you feel weak. Remember to take it easy, okay? Got another star piece. Gotta check all the bushes and trees. You never know what could be hidden within. There we go. Get rid of the Goomba. Come on. There we go. Let's get tattling. We're gonna be a narc. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. Max HP 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to 0. And you know how to flip them over, right? Yep, jumps and pal blocks. So get in there and get stomping. So, I already know we can flip them over. Let's try power jump. I just want to see. Okay, a single hit for three damage. It doesn't ignore defense. At least I don't think it does. I think that was a waste of FP. Uh, yay, our first level up. And pff, HP, FP, pff. Who needs those? BP's where it's at. I was gonna say, did we get the full heal? Yes, we do. There we go. Too bad I can't really utilize it. And hey, look, I got the honey syrup anyway. Who? I didn't need to buy it. Good thing I didn't, because I knew I was gonna grab it from a random drop. I swear. So planned, I tell ya. Force encounter, okay. Okay. Mario, look at our audience. That guy's got a rock. There's no way he's gonna throw it at ya. You'll get hurt if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. <laughs> Quick, stomp him before he throws that rock. Try pressing X. Get out of here. Nice. Later, you lousy troublemaker. From now on, pressing press X to eject any audience members who look like they're holding things. Oh, but there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Okay, Mario. Now try attacking with your hammer. Why? Why? On. Like, sometimes your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse. It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things could happen while we're up here. So stay alert and try to come up on top. I don't remember this actually being a uh, tutorial fight. 
Because I don't remember her talking about the backdrop. I tried super guarding. I don't know if this is just the first time the backdrop could fall and it couldn't before, or if it's just random chance that it didn't. Anyway, I think that was new. Could be wrong about that. Oh, coin. I didn't get the preemptive. Yeah, we could use the normal hammer first. There we go. And then we'll head bonk. And again, like, I could power jump and take him down in one go. But there's no threat right now. It's not worth it. Ooh, some flower points. And there's a power block. I knew we were going to get one. Well, I'm just, I'm just checking something. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Wait. Hold on a second. I saw... This block's already been hit. You can hit all you want, but nothing else will happen. Oh. Yeah, I already talked to her. Ah, uh, here we go. Nope, just won't open. I wonder what we should do. This is part of Schwank, For uh, Schwank Fortress. We got a couple pedestals here. That's it. It looks pretty decent, but this place is actually super old. Did you know that? I say it was built about a thousand years ago. Yep, what vibrant ruins. It's almost like some kind of statue. What if you give it a good whack with your hammer? I mean, that's what I need to be doing, right? Oh no, zero damage! Quick, tattle on them! Let's see. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a sharp, craggy face. Uh, this kind of this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP 2, attack of 1, defense of 2. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a uh, pal block? Luckily, we just found one. Yeah, this is an unwinnable fight unless you have a pal block. Well, actually, with my power smash, you can win it that way. Never mind. Or the defense ignoring hammer that I have. Yeah, you can do either of those now that I think about it. But, you know, it was faster to just use the power block. Now you get back here. Let's see. Three damage. Okay, now I think we'll power jump him, actually. Yeah, four damage. Single hit, though. Uh, I forgot it was a single hit and not uh, not still two hits. Did Koops jump me? Not yet. We're getting there. 
We're on the way to Schwank's, uh, Schwank's fortress to get the sun and moonstones to evolve our gloom and our Clefairy. Sorry, I, I, I just looking for extra dialogue that may or may not be there, you know? I don't know if you saw the kid is still playing GBA Fire Emblem. I mean, pretty based if, if you ask me, honestly. He could have been playing Fire Emblem Engage, but nah. He's just like, nah, I'm going to play the GBA Fire Emblem. It's a better game. Oh, I... Okay. Let's get rid of the ones with healing abilities. There we go. There we go. Got the super guard. But yeah, we're going to be getting coops here in a minute. And we got our first level up too, which can't really use. But, you know, it's, it's part of the game. Part of it. It's part of the adventure. Getting badge points that you can't even use yet. Oh, another power block. I didn't even need to buy the one I already did. This part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple pedestals here. That's it. Still... To archaeologists, this place is a gold mine. I gotta come back sometime. Bet if you also smack this one with your hammer, we'll get the same result as before. But I'll leave that up to you. You're the one with the hammer. Yeah, this is uh, not a good sign. Okay, first... Tattle on them. What do we got? That's a Bristol. Act, uh, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP. Attack is one. Defense is zero. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close to, uh, to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Yeah, this one actually is impossible to beat without a power block. Whereas the other one, I could... The, the iron clefts, I could have used the hammer with uh, my defense ignoring smash. There we go. Ah, yes. We shall continue with our adventure into further into the fortress. This entrance to Shrunk Fortress is cr close by. Say, Mario, have you heard about the recovery blocks before? If your HP and FP are low, just hit one of them, okay? Anything in the bushes? In the tree? No. Oh, no, I got struck first. Ha, <laughs> super guard, though. Um. Okay. Yeah, okay, I have to... I can't get the one in the back. I have to do this. Nothing I can do about that. There we go. There we go. That's done. But yeah, Act, I don't know if you heard my little small rant about the the censorship we ran into earlier and the fact that we have a case of inconsistent censorship where one's okay but one's not you know once I realized that line was still in the game but one isn't I can see the hypocrisy Okay, so, on your way to the Thousand Year Door, when you first enter the sewers, I don't know if you remember, but you know the three Goombas that you fight? In the original, they catcall Goombella. 
and they they basically say, "Hey, why don't you come with us?" You know, and then Goomba is like calls him out, be like, "Nah, that's gross. I don't want to be with you." And then you beat him up. They change the line to be just talking about surface dwellers. So, you know, Mario getting mugged in this sleazy town that you know there's a bunch of thieves. Everyone's like horrible and. Uh, in the original Japanese version, there was clearly a murder. You know, that's all okay. But Cat calling Goombella? No, we can't have that. That's not that's not something we can have. Now, I get to Pedalberg, and I don't remember I don't know if you remember the blue guy with the afro, but I talk that has a French accent. He 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 hits on Goombella. He does the same thing the Goombas did. And that's still in here. So, it's okay for him to do it, but not the Goombas? Y you see my problem here, Act? If there's one thing I don't like more than censorship, it's inconsistent censorship. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the Sun and Moonstones. If that's the case, then you must compete against me! <laughs> I I can't do a voice anymore. If you win, I'll let you through where the stones rests. However, if you lose, you'll suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Mm, so what do you want to do? You're in for it now. Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome to, welcome everyone to the 65th trivia quiz off. You see, it's the 65th because the 64th quiz off was in the first game. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win, but get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now for the first question, what is hidden in Schwank's fortress? Sun and Moonstones. Pickle Stone, Princess Peach, and Crystal Stars. Sun and Moonstones, is that your real answer? Are you sure? That's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourselves. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total. Um, I'm going to say it's not 20. I'm just going to say 12. Is that your real answer? Yeah. That's correct. The question was too easy. Okay, he's saying the same stuff. Question three. What is the name of the mayor of Pellberg? Koopa Koot is the old man in the first game that gave you all the side quests that just gives you one coin. It is Croup. We're not done yet here, folks. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? It is in Hooktail's castle. Toad Town, you know, a town we can't even get to. Ah, right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth. Uh, you did just get your fourth answer right. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get, get ready for brain pain. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Rogueport? To Petal Meadows. Go through a race in a cart. <laughs> Go through a pipe. Yeah, you did it. That's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Nice callback. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. 
I guess no one managed to answer those questions, apparently. Granted, they probably couldn't get through the two rooms beforehand, so makes sense. The Schwank Fortress. Suspicious statue. I'm pretty sure it's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remembered something I read about uh, about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they hide in this fortress. I guess there's a little bit of history everywhere you look, huh, Mario? What do we got? We're in the Schwank's Fortress. My shoes are totally soaked through now. Just great. Plus, it's dark and confining, and it smells really bad. This place is just not cool, Mario. You say your shoes are soaked. You're like... How can you even breathe? Attacks multiple foes. Well, might as well equip it. Uh, too far. There we go. I guess we'll just have that equipped, too. It's not like it's hurting anything. Multi-bounce will be useful. Ah, uh, the fuzzies. This is where I wish I had a defense boost. Okay, first... Tattle. What'd you got, Goombella? That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. HP 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew! Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, sounds like you need to use your guard action command when they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so, uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP. Uh, I can't... I could power jump and take down one of them right now. I don't think multi-bounce would actually take... Take him out, so we'll power jump. There we go. Ow. <laughs> okay. Electrified. Not a good sign. Okay, I gotta get used to the timing on that. It looks like a different timing. Or a different animation to look for. Okay, let's move on. Get out of here. All right. I think it might be best for me to multi bounce. Oh, no, she's... Okay, she's not dizzy. Oh, it only deals one damage to them. It was still worth it. Okay, let's see if I can time it right. Ah, uh, nope. It's a weird timing I'm not used to. Probably gonna need to use Sweet Treat. Get some FP back. Yeah, I really need, like, not Flower Saver. Uh, there's one where it, enemies are more likely to drop the flower points. I need that one. That one will be useful. Can't flee. I can't use. Now nah, let's let's just go for the attack. Get rid of one of them. There we go. Let's see if I can time the super guard. There we go. I almost had it. Nope. I got it through one. One out of three. Not a good sign. I think what I'm gonna do is I will head bonk this one. Get rid of you. And we'll go and weaken you. Oh wait, we have a chance for a bingo. I 
Damn, not getting the timing right. Nope. Still no luck. Alright. I'll let Goombella work on that one. And here's our chance for a bingo. Nope. I figured. Alright. Let's weaken him first. Let's see. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, before we get rid of him, let's sweet treat. There we go, come on. Yeah, I did it. Okay, now Goombilla can take that, uh, get rid of the last fuzzy. And hell, in like one or two more fights, we're gonna get a level two. What do we got here? Fire flower? Okay. That'll be useful. We're in Schwank Fortress. This room is damp and moldy, too, like every other one. I just want to see the sun again. Is that so wrong? Yes, it is so wrong. Hey, you did see the sun. It's called the Sunstone. It was in that room. All this moisture really makes this, makes this place really moldy smelling. And what is that? And what's that other stink? Is that what went, is that what wet fuzzy smells like? I think I'm gonna totally barf. I don't even think I want to know what a wet fuzzy smells like. I never thought about that, but you no, know, that probably would smell disgusting. There sure are a lot of fuzzies living here in Schwank Fortress. I saw one a minute ago, and I thought it was a ghost. I totally hate dark places. There we go. So if I were to multi-bounce... that then head bonk you there we go let me try nope I didn't get the timing right it's probably better to just guard but I just wanted to try to go for it Fuzzy. Okay, what I... I'm gonna get my level up and refi free refill. So I am going to power jump. Use that. That's enough star points to level up. And more batch points. Yes. More badges that I can't even equip. Because I don't have, like, any badges. But that's fine. It's all good. I'll make it work. What do we got here? Come on. We're in Schwank Fortress. All this water has made this place a little cold. I wouldn't mind getting out of here for some fresh air soon. You know what I mean? We got a Moonstone. How many are here? Oh wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of fuzzies. I'm gonna use a Fire Flower. Get out of here. 
Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. And we get a mushroom. All right. Now we can leave. We can evolve our fairy, and we can evolve our gloom. Now we can leave and never come back. I don't think there's any reason to actually come back here. York. Hey, you suspicious types. This is our place, and coming in here is rude. 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 Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Let's see. Okay, just by himself at the moment. Let's tattle on him. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious, wow. Attack is 1, HP 10, defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, so gaudy. Alright. It has no defense. Does Power Smash deal 4 damage? Yeah! So stylish. Me or f hey, ow! You chumps are tougher than you look. I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Oh no, so many fuzzies! Okay, what can I do? I'm I was gonna say I was trying to guard. There we go. There's no point in super guarding that. I thought he was just going to try to steal my FP. Can I tap? Yes, I can tap the horde. This is Fuzzy Horde. Look at them all. What a mob scene. The, fu it, the fuzz is a buzz. HP 20, attack of 1, defense of 0. Fuzzies come at you all at once and attack in order. Says here not to freak out. It also says that if you use good timing to defend, you won't take much damage. I'm thinking it might be faster to just whip out the wing uh, ring leader, though, you know? Six damage. Let's see. Hold on. If I try the hammer, I can only attack the horde. Okay. So if I power jump... Yeah. Getting attacked by the fuzzies. Where Goombell is... You. And he didn't even attempt to steal my FP. We'll let Goombala have it. Or not, because I can't see. Try to throw a can at me? How rude. There we go, we'll get rid of them all. I wonder, if you take out the horde, I think you do get extra star points, so maybe it is worth it to get rid of the horde first. Biog, you got me! Maybe it would have been worth it to go after the horde. Oh well. Alright, time to leave. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll save. It's not gonna hurt. Sounds like you got an email, Mario. You should check it out. Press plus to open your mail. You can also check your email under Mailbox SP in the menu. If you want. Some folks just like menus, you know? Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here in E-form. 
It's highly likely you receive emails like this one on your journey, so check out your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I just hope all goes well for you. And I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars, Professor Frankly. That it? Okay, that's it. Let's get the full heal. Alright. Uh, I think I'll just try to move on. I don't need to fight these guys again. don't need this room. I really wish we had speedy spin. I really wish that was still a thing. Did I check this one? It's, the air here is a bit stale, don't you think? Oh yeah, and listen, Mario, remember, you don't have to attack, attack enemy, every enemy you see. If you have low HP, you might just want to avoid them. That's exploring 101 for you. I don't remember if that's the one I checked or not. Whatever. Air is darker. Yeah, okay. Just double checking. Normally I fight every enemy along the way, but... Nah, not these ones. We already fought these guys. I think I might do the same thing on the way to Hooktails. Direct Mail Verification. Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering with Rogue Port Direct Mail RDM service. I don't remember doing this. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred to you for us. Oh, I see. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Do we need to talk to Koof? Do we, or Croft, whatever. Well done there, Murphy. Found the sun and moons and the moonstone, have you? Excellent work. Next, you'll need to find the secret pipe that leads to Hooktail Castle. So shake your leg, Murphy. Go show that hooktail creature who's boss. Is he the only one that says something different? Goose has been acting odd lately. What could be bothering him? Probably nothing. He's always tweaked about something. Just like Goombella right there going down the hill. Goops isn't here. Are they the only ones that say something different? No way, really? You defeated the monsters in that fortress? Wow, you must be tougher than you look, mister. I underestimated you. They say something different. Hold on. New dialogue! I live in custom fear of Hooktail swooping down and attack this village. That's why I'm always telling my kids not to wander too far from home. Let's see. You defeated the fabled stone monster in Schwank. Whoa, well done. But wait, hold on now. That means I have no more... I have no more job, doesn't it? Well, what are you supposed to do now? Huh, what a pickle. Uh, do you say anything different? It's, uh, wander tra travel... Fishing hotel. I wonder if there's... Don't need to sound silly or anything, but what's a hooktail? Okay, yeah, they do say something different. What do you say? Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets his name from time to time. What about you? If only this hooktail were gone. I'm sure everyone's hearts would shine again. Just as a simple soul. But I, re but I remain sure that this is the key to restoring happiness here. That... Oh, that's new! That's a new animation! Normally it's just invisible wall! Oh, that's a new that's a new little animation there. Yeah, this guy. You. Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 not you. Okay, you say the same thing. Yeah, again, we're okay with this guy catcalling Goombella, but we're not okay with the f three Goombas in the sewers. Eh, uh, what's shaking? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of Nintendo 64 games lately. You know the N64, right? Well, the game I play the most on it is Paper Mario. There's this girl in the game, Bao, who's pretty much the cutest boo of all time. You say anything? I'm General Y, I'm blah blah, I lost my hopes and dreams. Yeah, okay, you said the same thing. 
Keep your hands to yourself here. It's basically anything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. Oh, I forgot. You know what? One more. You need it. And you deserve this one, too. You're going to the castle. You're really dying to get that treasure, aren't you? Careful. I heard that Hooktail is not the only nasty beast in that castle. I love some treasure, too, but I don't want to become a snack for it. No thanks. We Koopas are long-lived for a reason, you know? Good luck being digested and all. Anything new in the item shop? I mean, not items specifically, but... Wait, my ears must be broken. Did you say you're playing on battling, Hooktail? That sounds like a bad joke. And here's the punchline. You squish to paper thinness. What do you have to say? Those flowers keep their tongues still, but make no mistake, they understand us. Which is why I ask you to always speak kindly to our floral friends. Deal? Oh, wait. What? I can't do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, that sucks. That's such a tease. I can't do anything about that. Oh, come on. Don't know if you... I don't know if you know, but there's an odd-shaped boulder to the rest, west of the village. I figure it must be a relic of long-lost civilization. Sounds cool, right? Um, excuse me. It's... it's Mario, right? Look, I... um... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hopes of getting to speak with you. Um... See, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you! I want to fight Hooktail, please! I'm begging you! Sorry about that. See, my my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is part of it. I guess, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started, for his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. No. What? But... Well, why? Is there any way I could change your mind? No means no. <laughs> Well, that's how you feel. I'm not giving up the I'm not giving up hope though. I promised myself I wouldn't. Um, so if you change your mind, Mario, please let me know. I'll be over there polishing my shell. Can't have an adventure without a dull with a dull shell. Okay, fine, we'll take you. Are you taking me along? Sure. For real, no kidding! Yes! Thank you so much! You won't regret this. And we finally got coops. And here we go. Press X to send Koops forward inside a shell. His shell can bump into things, which allows him to retrieve distant items and activate switches. There we go. It wouldn't let me do it till right there. I kept, I was mashing it. If you hold X, you can keep him in place for a while. After keeping him in place, release X to snap him back and hit something behind his starting point. Yeah. This is what makes him better than Cooper. Mario can also move around while keeping Coops in place, so he can press a switch from a distance. So remember, when you send him flying, you can hold X and keep him in one place. That concludes the primer. Yeah, I mastered them. In battle, he can use Shell Toss to attack with his body and strike a ground pound. Uh, and strike all ground bound foes with Power Shell. To swap your partner to the field, press Start and go to the party menu. There's got to be a faster way, though. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops! Oh, golly. Um, hi. Hi, Koopy. Koopy Coon. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Coops. 
I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher for you. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, I made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling Mario and... Fine! Ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Makes me wonder if we should have Koopy Koo as our partner instead of Hoops. Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Professor Frankly here in E form. Again! I do have more to say, as it turns out. Kumbella was eager to join your side, and she won't be the last. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll gain a bunch of additional partners as you explore the world and progress through your harrowing adventure. If you do, there's a quick way to swap your part which partner is walking alongside you. Just hold down L and access a doodad called the Partner Ring. If you find yourself stuck in a rut, unable to progress, aimless, and panic-stricken, first calm down. Then swap pals with your Partner Ring. Explore a bit more and see if there's anything clicks into place in that noble noggin of yours. One other thing. I'm betting you usually pop in the menu by pressing minus or plus, but did you know you can open it using two specific tabs by pressing the D-pad? Okay, partners would be left. Okay. Yeah, that's how you would normally do this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, that's a huge upgrade. That is a huge upgrade. Kind of wish the base game had something like that. But granted, the base game didn't even have two buttons on that side. You know why Koops is better than Cooper? He could break dance. Koops can't even do that. Or Cooper can't even do that. That's how you know uh, Koops is better. You break dance. There we go. Strike him first. Strike him while the iron's hot. Hot. There we go. And there's a badge we can go get right now. Go grab it. Now that we have a Koopa on our side. Happy heart. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, was there something in here? I mean, I could equip it. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Talog badge list. Nope. It's in here. Oh! If you get info from her lovely, it actually goes into this notepad. That's actually very useful. Because normally, you just have to remember it or um, write it down yourself. Out? Art? What? Collect all the star pieces in an under rogue port to Getting all star- wait. Hold your crystal star from chapel one, chapter one and throw it in front of the thousand in your door and collect all the star pieces from that chapter. There's actually a reason to collect star pieces now. Collect all the shine sprites in Rogueport. Collect all the shine sprites. Okay. There's actually a reason to find everything. And that not just in game. Interesting. You get the basically the art book as well as sound sound tests. Okay. Throw in the sunstone. And throw in the moonstone.
We have to hit him at the same time, right? Here beginneth the path to the tr to dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum: This challenge is this challenge is easiest. Uh, p uh, p uh, saith, if ye use the skill of a pedal bird Koopa. So Hooktail's castle existed for a thousand years. Because part of my theory with the map was like the layout of the map on its own was kind of how it was a thousand years prior. But uh it added the Hooktail's Castle because that was added later. But no, it's been around for a thousand years. Back from a walk to see Koops. Yes, Koops is here! And you want to know something act that this game added? Hold on. I'll show it once we get into the castle. Hold the L button down and there's a partner swapping ring. It's so nice! This is the entrance to Hooktail Castle. There's a safe block here. I think we should use it, don't you think? We show that entry. I do. Which trailer? If it was in the first trailer, then I just don't remember it. If it was in any other trailer, I didn't watch those. But yeah, it's been so long since the first trailer came out that I just don't remember it. A, lo a lot of the details in that one. So, Hooktail Castle, huh? Well. I'm sure it's not it sure is ominous that's for sure what's nice about this game that does better than the original one is that the partners actually say something often and if i had coops out he would have said something completely different well not completely different but he would have had different dialogue okay um do I need power smack? Sure. But yeah, if it was not in the first trailer, then I didn't see it. If it was in the first trailer, then I forgot. <laughs> what? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. This looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so majestic, you know? It's so big and strange. Let's use my curse. Oh, Act, uh, I, I noticed something that's happened to my stream when I was uh, setting things up. And I want to know if this has happened to you. So... When you have to choose what game this goes under for the category, for Thousand Year Door, there's one for the GameCube, and there's one for the remake. I specifically click on the remake, and for some reason, it throws me back into the GameCube category, and I don't know why. And this has happened when I was doing Dragon Quest II. You cl I click on one category, and the game just, just says, no, you're going in this category. Wait. The battle theme is different. Is it... Is it because we're in Hooktail Castle? I did not know... Th this is so cool! RE4... Re That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um... It's basically Koopa Troopa with wings. HP is 4. Attack is 2. Defense is Kind of hate that the uh, this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stop on him and he'll plunge down to be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again and flip him. And his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still uh, wiggle them around a bit. May appear to switch back and forth. I don't know. Oh, this music. I was not expecting this. I'm sorry.
We're getting the violin in here. Did Yoko Shimomura do this one? I know she was in the Mario Luigi games. Kind of weird that the game actually pauses whenever someone's going to throw an item. That was not the case in the GameCube. If it happens, it happens, you know? That's just kind of how it was. Oh no. Bingo time! There we go. It's a good, it's a good sign. I'm going to need to use Sweet Treat soon, or something. But yeah, did you know that there were going to be different battle remixes? Because I didn't know this. I wonder if there's one per chapter. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Oh, do I need to turn it up? Here, I could turn up the volume. Here, let me... Let me turn it up a bit. Let's see. Is that too loud? Game music is pretty soft. How's this? Are we still good? I adjusted just a little bit down, but is it okay? If it's fine, it's fine. This is why, like, if the, if the, if you can't hear anything, just tell me, and I'll adjust it. Because I'm a, I keep the settings the same. And if something's off because I don't know, the PC reset uh, has to update, and it messes with my settings, you know. Stay in front. Yeah, let's just knock them both on the ground. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, so what we could do is we can have Bella weaken him. Now what we can do... Oh, wait. It's bingo! Nope. Now we power jump. There we go. What is this? Power bounce. Jump on one foe multiple times. That's the one where you combine that with Danger Mario. And it's broken. Hmm. I have no FP. about let's weaken one there we go we'll have Boombella go for the other one nope nothing did not get that right um let's get rid of you and then what I'll do is I'll knock the other guy on the ground, and then I'll use Sweet Treat. There we go. 
He's on the ground for another... Nope. No luck. Alright. Sweet treat. Bella's at nine health, but we got my FP back. That's what really matters. There we go. One more. No, can't use that. I think I have another cow block I could actually use. Guess that that's a dungeon beyond us. Ick. There are bones scattered everywhere. Hmm. Mold and dust. Great. You could totally choke on the stench of this place. Let's see. Oh. Oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It's my father! Dad! Um, wait, what's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I could do this. I, I'll read it. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go on no further. So, in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking free creatures that begin with F and end with Og. That's different. That's different. I hear that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden in somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one, one must first find... Whatever that thing is. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue my writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops. Oops, um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. I mean, not what I meant to do. One can blow it out. What a creepy pile of bones. I mean, they're all creepy. This one's super creepy. I don't really feel like taking a look at it, but if we don't... We'll never get farther. That is true. Blarf, harf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you came to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further, and for from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Watch it, Pushy. What's with these numb skulls? They're shoving me around. What should we do? Use your hammer. It's always the answer. Alright. Can't flee. So, I think we can start with tattling. Let's just do the normal dry bones. That's a dull bones. Sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa. Once. HP 1, attack is 2, defense is 1. These crews throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are most effective. Let's just normal... Oh, wait. multi bounce. Right, they have a defense. I forgot. Yeah, 
that's just normal guard. Ah, I'm not getting that right. Okay. Tattle. And the red bones. That's red bones. It's a little too red. I think no fashion sense, you know? HP 5, attack is 3, defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, and then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. So let's take the opportunity to use a fire flower. There we go. Totally worth it. Of course he builds more. Alright. I'm gonna swap to the front. I guess I'll just use my normal hammer. And I'll help, I'll let Goombella swap to Coops. There we go. I think Koops' attack is two. Let's have Koops attack first. I think it's still two, so we'll just use Shell Toss. I didn't get the stylus right. How much damage was that? Yeah, that was one. Okay. I figured. Let's ignore his defense. There we go. Was that enough? Literally two star points away. There we go. Let's move on. I have a feeling that was a real one. Alright, well, I guess I'll just use my hammer. It's not like I have the FP to use Shell Toss. Or Power Shell, I mean. One left. Okay. Anyway. I can really use an FP plus about now. Having five FP is not enough. Thanks to the level up, you can get more batch points. Again, so worth it. Having more batch points couldn't be worth it, I swear. It will be, eventually. Just chapter one is just kind of meh on the batch points. I know I can, but... Honestly, the problem with Powered Bounce is combined in it with uh, Danger. That's when it becomes really broken. Power Bounce by itself is not that bad. We got our first Shine Sprite. Are any of these real? There you are. Okay, so Koops didn't hit it, but I managed to jump. That's, uh, not, not a part of the plan. But you know what is a part of the plan? Power Shell! I didn't get the stylus right. And I already can't use Power Shell again. Goombella, what do you have to say? This must be the Great Hall of Hooktail Castle. I say it's the center of the castle. This place is so full of traps and dangers. Won't be needing you for another room. Oh, I can't get up here, can I? No, I can't. Do we have a key? No, we don't. Ah, uh, here we go. 
There's that. Oh, I should have had Coops ready to go. Set that up. Yeah, I have Coops do that. So we now do that. We move the stairs! Because that's how it works. But it's all paper. Grab the key. Swap it back. Let's bring the yellow block down. Set coops up. At least they keep the symbol there to let you know, I guess. Okay. Star piece! Yay! Anything else here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, time to move on to the next room. Is there a way we could get up there? There is a way we could get up there. Hold on. I'll set that back down. I don't remember that door. I'm not saying it wasn't there, just maybe I just never noticed it. Hold on, I don't remember this. Star piece. Maybe this was always here and I just never went up here. Hmm. All right, on to the next room. One of these is real. Just which one? Is it you? Never mind. Tumbala? This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward moving draft in here? And it sure is a big castle. What do you think built it? So many questions. That is a good point. Who did build this castle? These are the dungeons of Hooktail Castle. I don't think they're in use, but yuck. Get rid of you first. Okay. Let's... Power? Multibounce? No. No. I will not use multibounce. That's not going to help me. We'll just work on you. Let's get rid of the Goomba. Nah, I didn't get the timing right. Yay, regen. It's totally helping me. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of him. Nope, didn't get it right. I never rely on the bingo. If it happens, it happens. It would be a good idea to use Sweet Tree. Gotta get my FP back when possible. FP is definitely way more important. Should all be at full. There we go. Now, Goombella, get the kill. Alright. Yeah, dungeons, I already. That's not what I meant. One of these is alive. I just know it. There it is. Oh. 
Hmm. Instead of swapping to Goombella, let's just appeal. Appeal to the crowd. Isn't that right, chat? You have to sometimes appeal to the crowd. And get the hype going, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, right. We set Koops up first. Now we go in here. Oh, dang. Hey, guess. It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me. Wow. Wait a second. If, if you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm not sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with the whole legendary hero bit. But hey, hey, but seriously, folks. I was just wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here for so long. I'm starving to... I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Uh -huh. What do you mean? You think you'd be cursed if you opened the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really? Wait in a... Wait in a box of curse, folks. A real slime ball, that's who. And I'm not a real slime ball. And I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you want to help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Find this key. Uh, find, this, find this key, whatever. Uh, I think my dog needs to go outside. Be right back. Let me swap things over. I think she needs to go out. Deja vu, exactly. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Be right back.
All right, I am back. Swap it back over. All right, continuing on. Let's go find this key and not get cursed because he 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 wouldn't do that. He's not a slime ball. Oh wait, Goombella, what do you say? What a totally weird room. There's just got to be something hidden here. And again, every room in this castle is totally weird. Mm, can't do anything about that. We found the black key. But he gets spikes! Mario, look at that! Oh, this is a good... Hurry, run for it! We got 50 seconds. I think we're supposed to go up and around. Down to the bottom. And here we go. Easy. Hey there, boy. I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fools! Your pick? That? Well, no. I mean, we could be scared through, you know. Why, only the most idi idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow painful end but wait there's more to this great deal i'll throw in a curse free of charge ugly boogie boo <laughs> now you're cursed doofus and it serves you right this curse is more cursedly cursed worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you for this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold ZR. Whee! <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now, I shall show you how frightful a curse it is. Press and hold ZR now. Whee! <laughs> Just look at yourself! How embarrassing for you! You'll be all paperly thin. You'll press Z while well, you press ZR. You'll try to jump or move, and you'll probably just wobble there. Do you understand what this curse means for you? Then farewell, you dumbbells. Whee! <laughs> now we're cursed. Twice over. Is it really a curse, though? If, if it helps us progress? Sounds froggy. What a, what's in here? Nothing. There's a now a new sound effect for going in between the bars. Interesting. Uh, let's... What that? We have a frog sound. That's that's new. It was a cricket <coughs> in the GameCube version. I wonder why they changed it. Not that it really makes that much a dip not that it makes that much of a difference, but I'm curious on why. Uh here. Can't do anything about that, so just go through here. Oh, I don't have the green key. Oops. Right, I need to go to go to the previous room. I forgot. You need to be cursed before you can get the green key. Oh, it's the room before. 
don't think we have too much more of Hooktail. We kind of did the majority of it already. I mean, it's not the biggest dungeon. It is Dungeon 1, after all. And again, I love how they just teleport sometimes. They have the power of instant transmission. up. Now we, we could go up here. You know, I was doing step two before I did step one. That happens a lot, you know. Alright. Mm -hmm. I actually don't need the full heal. I can save that for later. that. And all the way over here. Oh, gee gads, we can't pass. Might as well grab the start piece and then head back. Fall to the pit. Yes. Take that, Coops. You deserved it, I guess. One more dry bones, it wouldn't matter. Or dull bones. These are not dry bones. These are dull bones. I keep forgetting that. I, I know we're not there yet, but once we start doing side quests, I really hope they uh, they fix it. We'll get there when we get there. I ooh, life shroom. Here's the hammer. There we go. Let's take care of the Paragoomba. I have no first strike. Oh well. Hmm. I think we'll just let Coops hang out for a second. We'll just let him hang out. Oh no, he's been toppled. It's not a good sign. Get off your back, Coops. Well, he's out of commission. Too bad I don't have quick change. Nope, I figured. I saw the yellow and like, oh, did I get it? No, it's a uh, shine spray. go through this door. Let's go down here, grab the life shroom. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Life mushroom, not life shroom. That's definitely going to help against Hooktail. We're going to probably need it. Oh my! Who is this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me! How very strange. But, hey, who are you? Well, me? Why? I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? 
I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get, um, Crystal Star. So don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I've just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this crystal star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. Hmm? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Man, Mario's getting all the ladies. <laughs> it means I must say goodbye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and it already is time to say farewell. Alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that will help you best hook hooktail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I recommend fighting that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again soon. Real soon. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Actually, let's get Goombella in here. And again, like, having Goombella out, would, she would have co almost completely different dialogue, so... Here's the key. So it's almost nice playing this game multiple times and just making sure you have different partners out just to see what they say. Our second shine sprite. This is Hooktail's treasure room. Miss Mouse was looking for something something here. But I don't think there's anything left. I wonder what the badge was that she got from here. I actually don't remember if it's actually explained. That's a lift block. Hit the same color lift switch to turn it on and ride it. This is Hooktail's castle. It's such an upward moving draft in this room, too. Of course, tons of bones lying around. This place needs a decorator. Stop! You never know which bones are going to attack. So be careful when you're where you walk, okay? Uh. Poops. Not you. Definitely you. Okay. Let's jump on the normal Koopa. Then we are going to Power Shell. Again, Koops can Brick Dance. That makes him better than Cooper. Although I'm going to need to use sweet treat here soon enough. Ad blocker doesn't work anymore. That's too bad. Honestly, the ad blockers just don't work for me on Twitch. It just never seemed to work. Actually. We'll get Goombella out for this one. Actually, Koops would have been okay here, too. Oh, well. Let's stop you. Bella, go ahead and attack. Yeah, I forgot you have an attack, too. Okay. Bella first. Use that. We'll use the hammer. Perfect. Now we'll use the hammer. And Goombella should have this. Actually, you know what? Sweet treat. I'm really doing this just to get my FP back.
That's fine. I got my FP. Okay. Now Goombella can go ahead. Get some stylish on him. Get some style points. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Interesting. There's actually a little bit more to the animation there. Normally he just walks off the stage. There's no him pulling the rope. It's a little bit more detail to this game. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No. Get away. Coops. There we go. Um, I guess I'll just normal jump. And then we'll just get rid of the other dry bones for a second. Still need to get my breakdown. I uh, still need to work on my breakdancing skills. Oh, it is equipped. He does have the ability of regen. Well, we need to put a stop to that right now. And with that, Power Shell will do the trick. Oh, I thought it was three damage. Oops. Uh, I can normal jump this one. And then Koops can take out the other one. I think it's like as soon as he lands from hitting the enemy, that's when you need to do the stylish. Could be wrong though. way. Wait, let's check all the way to the other side. Yeah, nothing. Okay. We're gonna walk over here, grab the star piece. And head back. Use my cursed abilities to turn into a paper airplane. All right, if we head down here. Grab this. Another castle key, but we can jump down. Grab the last stand badge. Nice. Shortcut. Yeah, I'll pay the 10 coins. You know, I remember when I played this, when I first played this, I was kind of used to Paper Mario and even Pokemon where healing was free. So as soon as I'm like, ah, oh, this is so lame. Why do I have to pay to get my health restored? This is, what a downgrade. When like every RPG does that. there. Mario, take a look at this. It's like you can reach out and touch the sky, huh? Looking out from the heights makes my head go goomby. I mean, go uh, goony. We're almost there. We're almost at Hooktail herself. Um, I'm gonna lower you down. Bella might as well get rid of this guy. Okay. I 
I got the super guard. Might as well get rid of this guy. Actually, I should have gotten rid of the one in the back. I should have gotten rid of the one in the back. Never mind. Didn't matter. Use the hammer. I thought the backdrop was going to fall for a second. Alright. This will do it. And one more will do it. Yeah, I'm not going to get a level up. Not yet. I don't think I'm going to get another level up before the boss. Yes, attack me. Do it. Do it. You fool. Alright. Mm, hold on. Let's have Goombella do this. Where's Quake Hammer when you need it? Let's power jump. Now let's get rid of the Koopa. Oh, no. Let him throw it. Curd Shell. We got extra defense. Yeah, super guard, got it. Who needs to waste another turn on you? Oh, I can't wait to hear the hooktail battle theme. Ooh, another pal block. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't hold it. Um, does half damage back to all foes who? I don't think I need the spike pouch or the spike pouch. I don't think I need that. I think we'll be fine. Wait, does she say? No, she doesn't say anything different. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought she would. Oh, there's another Goomba here. One more fight. Get rid of you. And I guess we'll just work on the other two. Maybe we can super guard the Goomba. Nope, never mind. So let's power jump. Might as well weaken. Okay. There's that. And then we'll let Goombella attack. And we'll use the hammer. I didn't need, like, some of these patches. There we go. Oh, one more coin. There we go. We keep Goomba. Get the full heal because I need my FP back. All five of them. And let's go. Hooktail awaits. Who dares approach me?
somehow she was kept in the shadows in this very open window set. I don't know. I didn't seem to... I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you could beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down, head first. Yes, the hooktail fight. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Alright, first. Tattle. What do we got? That's hooktail. Max HP 20, attack of 5, defense of 1. We can't use Gumbella. She'll stomp and munch on you, and she has mu and she has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. She's tricky, especially when she's losing. She'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, one more thing. She hates things that start with F and ends with frog. Really? I thought it was starts with C and ends with cricket. Ick, you know. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. Did we find it? Well, she has one defense, so... Blech, that awful sound! It sounds like a frog! How did you know? Ooh, I got really bad of oh, food poisoning once when I ate a frog. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing the sound makes... Uh, a sound of them makes me feel woozy. Okay. I guess I'll just continue using the hammer for a second. Yeah, her defense drops. That's right. You must not gag. It's very easy. Yeah, that's right. Your defense drops to zero. No, nope, failed at that. Okay, since your defense is at zero, I guess we could power bounce. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, well, that was bad. <laughs> ah, and her fire attack power goes down too. I guess we'll power jump. more HP. Super guard. Feral Balrog? I guess so. Pretty much. Um. Okay, oh no. Let's just do the normal jump. Let Goombella attack. We'll deal with the next attack. One HP, that's fine. Now. Sweet treat. Yep, get my FP back. Get some HP back too. It's too bad you can't hold the left stick, but whatever. Everyone's at full health anyway. Now we'll let Goombella attack. Wait, hold up a minute. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Er, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000, 10,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? We can't even hold that many coins. Keep your coins. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. Now how about a lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? 
I'll give you that. It's one of kind. It's yours for a limited time only. Another badge. Hmm. I am doing a badge only run. I like the sound of it. Take the coins. No, we can't even hold that many coins. I will take the badge, though. Of course you want it, wouldn't you? Now come over here and get your badge. <laughs> you were completely duped by my genius ruse. That's so low. You senseless y yokels. Nothing in life is that easy. Your gullibility did you in. Er, this isn't looking so good. I guess I'd better... That is dark. Just eat some of the audience. That's just terrible. <laughs> uh, now my strength has returned to me. That's it. Enough of this. Let's finish her off once and for all, Mario. Yeah. So, if I said no to her bat, Oh, you know what? I should have not taken the badge. I'm assuming the line is still the same. But if you refuse the badge, she offers you... The most, the best thing she could offer. Smelling her feet. I mean, I'm not Tarantino, but you know, who would not take the offer of smelling her feet? Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a frog? Oh, they're alive. Lucky them. They're not dead. We got it! Bingo! Full HP. Not that it matters. Super guard. You know, thinking about it, if we had the ability to super guard back in Paper Mario 1, does that mean the Bowser fight at the beginning of the game would just go on indefinitely if you're good at super guarding? Do the honors. Go, Goombella. But I, I... Uh oh, why? There's still so much I want to do with my life. So many meals. Hundred coins for the boss. And a level up. But you know what that means. More batch points. And she's dead. Yes, we did it, Mario. All we have to do now is search for that crystal star. We can't seem to locate. I guess she's not dead. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it, it can't be. Eh? D Dad! What if it isn't Koops? Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? His No, uh, the skeleton was Colorado's dad. I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? But you, he probably should be a skeleton, though. I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, she used the smell of her... She used the smell from her feet to stun me. They gobbled me down. So, confirmed. Koops' dad is a feet man. Good to know. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then. It's like Hooktail's belly. And boy, it was nasty. I'm so glad I finally got out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, everyone's been so worried about you this whole time. Well, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's, that's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you all doing here anyway? Come on, Dad. We came here to defeat Hooktail. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. How did he survive for ten years? 
and not get like barfed or puked out before this. Or just, you know, digested. Crystal Star, this wouldn't be what you're looking after, right? What's that? I found it down there at Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I was gonna keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the only thing you've been looking for, you could have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend, right? Please take it. I'm guessing the crystal stalk crystals cannot be digested, so it was actually safe in our belly. Increase to two, and we got Earth Tremor. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a special move. Yahoo! Using the magical map they re received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends claimed their first crystal star. With the deadly dragon Hooktail defeated, the citizens, the citizens of Battleburg would rest easy once again. Koops even re reunited with his long-lost father, who we thought he was dead. And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure had only just begun. I think we'll do the next two segments and then we'll call it. It'll be pretty short. Oh, great Crotus! We brought the prince. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. That's a little bit new, I think, right there. Well, well, well my pet, isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to ab be absolutely honest with us. We... Okay. I always called them x knots I'm still gonna call them x knots But I think their name is actually cross knots and that's stupid. So, I'm calling them x knots Deal with it. Are not... We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report it once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars. And they defeated that Hooktail creature, you say. Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario. Oh, no. <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'm, I'll know all about him before long. That I plump, promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll show up where we're hunting for a crystal star. Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the search. And must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Crotus. And with that, pow! I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit... out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You rain, dude? I mean, sir. You rain, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, Sir Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get to go get the three shadows over here. Do they rename them? The three shadows, sir, but they I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Our honorable Grotus is has need of us. Then we will arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, we, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Or not. All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes? Indeed, as your duty. Must I remind you that that plan is vital. That map is vital to the Exnot plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Belda. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, I, sir. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Uh, Mar... Marlin. Vivi, come. We got a job to do. <laughs> we'll talk about them later. I have thoughts. When we actually get to it. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick. Again! But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. Hmm, it's not opening. Can't go in there. What was that? How odd, the doors open by themselves. Oh, we could just do this right now? Shower time? Shower time! Normally, I think you would have to use the shower for that door to open. It's kind of weird that's opening now. It's softer than I expect. At least I'll be sleeping com comfortably. It's shower time. Right? What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Well... <laughs> you see, only those who are subscribed can watch the peach shower scene <laughs> and not be interrupted by Twitch ads. I feel like a new princess. And someone did a thorough job cleaning this. Looks freshly scrubbed and sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. Yeah, normally I think you have to do that before the door opens anyway, so... It's a little weird. That must be new. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. can't do anything here. It doesn't work. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. You see, they have a sensor, Peach. They just, you know, see if anyone's coming. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Who are- where are you? How oh, amusing. I'm right here, before your eye, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech, you may. Sir Grote has created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in his reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful, dumb-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? An unusual program div uh, deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. 
I'm in diagnostic programs. He is. He very is. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no proceed precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you? No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. Pull the plug. Exactly. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. Am I the world's best computer? I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I don't that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that well you're in love with me? Love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. <laughs> I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to, to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love is not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There is nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I could grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant the wish of letting you escape. I cannot believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I can even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you call me here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Huh, why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I can't comprehend. You need not to teach me now. But I must learn of this. I must, uh, I must, there is no alternative. I must be perfect. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, I'll give it a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? A message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So one interesting thing about tech... Well, I don't know. Interesting. But one thing about tech is uh, the red glass. The red camera. That was in the original Japanese version of the GameCube. But for some reason, the English version changed it to like a green color. I don't know why. But that's the case. So it's back to the red, I guess. And now we gotta see what Bowser's up to. It's not a Mario game without Bowser. Except Mario 2, you know. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now I'm here. Cammy, you crusty old hag. Why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will lie will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. 
Please, your ghastliness. I have to ask you to wait at the rear, at the rear of the room. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazily longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you, the look on his face when he was mo mooning over that thing. Uh, yak, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Lord Bowser, I've been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups. And don't stop until your hammer has abs. Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Yeah, I already know. Hail, Lord Bowser! This is why Bowser can't beat Mario. Look at his jump height. It's not that great. Ah, Lord Bowser! Wait, the picture in the back. Why does Bowser have a, have a mustache? <laughs> Why does he have a mustache? I've just returned now. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now, out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <clears throat> is my displeasure to the report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Roqueport. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to tell me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, but you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of the star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars and researching just what they are. But there's no question of their high value. Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like a good world-conquering tool. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Yes, I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them! But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during Mario's recon, uh, during my Mario recon, I stopped by a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning to take everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course. I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Look at I think that line has changed. I think it was Airhead before. And if that is the case, I don't know why they changed it. Pitnik, get serious. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because of you clods always goof off. Urgh. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood blood pressure. What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold foo fool abducted Princess Peach and Roqueport. What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation is ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Roqueport. Now, I gotta kidnap her back. I love that's his reasoning. Someone else kidnap kidnaps the princess and be like, No, that's my job! But your grugliness! Wait up! The grug grugginess, yeah, whatever. Bowser's great in this game. It's, it, I mean, it's obvious that he's not a threat, but, like, okay, it, it did just save. I think we'll go through this text and then we'll call. 
Koops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, you have Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You're my son, Koops. And I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <clears throat> yeah, just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Well, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario. Hold the magical map uh, before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and pour toward the next in line. That's what the book says. Which means, we take the crystal star we found back to the Thousand Year Door. So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magical map. Exactly! Come on, let's go! Well, I am going to make a save. Where? There it is. I'm gonna save. And we are gonna continue this next time. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Next time we'll start with talking to the villagers, see what they say, and then we'll get started on Chapter 2 or maybe some side quest stuff in Rogueport. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, have a good day. Later.